have another look inside and just see how much smoke is still producing shells. Coal there, no tinge of shiny at all. Yeah, and heaps and heaps of smoke. Plenty of smoke. Give you a basic rundown on the uh, items I use for making my coal smoker. Essentially, I've got a couple of tins here. And they're just basic pet food cans with peel of lids. And these particular cans actually stack up quite well on top of each other, which um, means they can be turned into good hoppers. So, I've got a outlet pipe down near the shed, probably about 10 12 mil, half inch, and an inlet pipe. Here's an aquarium hose. Now, the inlet pipe's diameter is similar to the external diameter of the aquarium hose. That fits up there quite nicely. I've also got an aquarium pump, a little nut and a bolt for holding my baffle, and the teardrop lid from the pet food can, which is what I use for making a baffle with. Now, one of the tins I've emptied out, and I've drilled four holes in it. One hole is the same diameter as my outlet pipe, and make my outlet pipe has got a little hole already top in there which helps it as a venturi with sucking in the air. The outlet pipe simply fits in the side here so you should be able to see it go in here hopefully. Turns around like that. And then that pipe here. And again I've got a small hole on this side. That into that is around the inside, inside that fits inside the other pipe, the other pipe slides in, you can see that, so the aim of the game here is we've got air coming in here, we have this little tea tree burning and smoke goes out there, we have a burning hole down here, we've got a little fire going shortly, and I've also got a little baffle here which I've made out of my lid. Slips in down here. This little nut and bolt basically locks the baffle in place. I have drilled a little hole on the side here for the nut and bolt here. That's all in place there. And this second tin here, I pulled out both sides. And that's going to sit on top and act as a popper so that we can have additional feature in here. The aquarium hose will come into here and fix on the pump outlet. So I'm going to rig this up now and show you how it goes. The yellow one's hooked up to the aquarium pump. I'm just going to switch that on now. And I'm just going to get a little bit of fire in the hole, so to speak. Here's some smoke. Here we have our uh, cat food can DIY smoke generator. Certainly producing plenty of smoke there. I'll open the box up and just see what's, uh, what's being produced inside. Read some amount of smoke. Something on a the intake pipe here. Quite critical how far in the outlet pipe it is. If you push it in too far, you have this of a venturi effect. But you can adjust it in and out to get yourself what the distance is going to give you the ideal smoke producing 
that we're running it for about 10 minutes now. You can still see there's plenty of entry up here. It hasn't moved down very much yet. And my experience to date would indicate I get around about two to three hours of that hopper full. I look inside and just see how much smoke is producing fuel. Coal there, no temperature on there at all. Yeah. And heaps and heaps of smoke. Plenty of smoke. 